Naked Among Wolves 2015. It, this is a, uh, you get what you deserve. That's what, this is a World War II motion picture. I'm not sure why they called it that, but it's about some kid who got smuggled inside of a camp. They get him out. How much is a life worth? That's probably the best thing I can say what this motion picture is about because these, the people were trying. In the end, when Hitler and the Nazis Socialism was coming to an end and Americans were landing. It's like the movie takes place like two weeks before the Americans arrive. And so these people, these Germans and these uh, uh, um, Jewish people, the Germans, the, uh, the people who were put inside the camps, you know, Russians, people who were not a perfect German or whatever, or you were a political person, whatever it was, they were in this camp. It's like two weeks of, it's counting down till the Americans arrive. So some of the camps are killing people, some of the camps are evacuating, and these people are gonna have this massive showdown. But this kid arrives inside of a suitcase which just like literally throws everything off. Um, and so that's it, you know, and it's like, then they have to change what they do. I didn't like it. I, I did appreciate one thing. The motion picture did have uh, torture scenes in it. That's a warning, by the way. Um, but they didn't show it. I kudos to the people who made this motion picture because ev almost every other motion picture I've ever seen focused so much on the bad part that, you know, it's like they missed the point. The point of this motion picture is how much is a human worth? How much is a person worth? So they changed their plans and the kid got del got saved, delivered out of the, the little place and he lived. But you know, two or three people died in the process because they were protecting the kid. So it's really serious. So I mean, but I, what, but I liked was what they focused on life. His life hangs in life. That's what even one of the German soldiers helped, one of the men, men in charge. But I mean, life. And that's one of the best parts about this motion picture is that it's not one of those movies that talk about, oh yes, the life or whatever, what's the name. Um, but, you know, I don't even know why they call it Naked Among Wolves to tell you the truth being a World War II movie maybe because he's a kid and he has no you know you know uh, defense or whatever but anyways or maybe it was about the other person but anyways but the fact was that they did not spend time on violence and you've seen motion pictures like that where it's supposed to be a life and wonderful stuff but it's like they spend so much time making the ugly things ugly that was just bad so I did watch that movie it was pretty good won't watch it again but it was a very uh, informative movie how people will sacrifice to make sure that you know you can live so I mean people are out there will ta sacrifice their time and their life for you and there are people out there doing that right now for you whether or not you think it they are or not trust me so people I love you <laughs> and people love you it is just really neat how they just changed their plans you know and the they did get liberated because the Germans did leave you know, but the main, some of the main characters didn't make it because, because they spent their more time instead of doing that, taking care of the kids. So like, comment, subscribe, leave me be, and I'll see you next time.